There's a small town just around the corner that I had no idea existed when I was growing up. Of course, I was born and raised here in Boise, Idaho, but a small town that population registered about 5,000 people about 10 years ago, I had no idea existed. My first time going there when I was about 22 years old, ended up living there for about a year when I was 27. We're gonna dive into that small town and all it has to offer and why people are flocking there like as many cows are living there right now. Let's go take a look. If we haven't met by now, my name is Brian Hymas. I am a realtor here in the Boise Valley. My goal is to spread the word about how great this place is because why that makes this economy great. People are flocking here because they want conservative, good old fashioned USA. And that's what they're moving here for. That's the city we're gonna discover today is why this small town is still conservative USA America, why you're gonna love it. I was born and raised here in Boise, Idaho. I am 37 years old. There's been maybe a couple of years that I haven't been here. I was an appraiser for two years, now real estate agent since 2017. I love spreading the good word on Boise. It means our economy is doing well. The more people move here, the better our economy does. We are gonna dive into the top seven reasons people are considering moving to Number seven, small town USA. This is still small town America. In 2010 on the census, it was about 5,000 people. And then in 2020, they're predicting almost double at 9,000 and change. So still is a small area. In fact, I was there yesterday as the sun was setting. We're talking huge irrigation sprinklers over wheat fields, corn fields, hay was being plowed everywhere. It is wide open America. Yeah, there's some subdivisions there. There, you can get a you know a home with acres for cheaper. You can get a home in a subdivision for cheaper. But when all is said and done, it's a huge area with only you know less than 10,000 people that live there. So this is still a town that is super spread out and super undeveloped. It is a place that people are requesting by name to move to. It is Middleton, Idaho. According to the World Population Review, the average median income in Middleton is around 89,000 and there's a roughly 8% poverty rate in Middleton, Idaho. The average commute time in Middleton to their job is 27.3 minutes, but Middleton to Boise is about is 35 plus minutes. In fact, from certain parts of Middleton, you can go as 45 minutes with no traffic. And that is the huge knock on Middleton right there is its distance to Boise. It's kind of tucked away from the freeway. The Western part of Middleton, which is actually officially Caldwell, is easy to get on the freeway and head on back to downtown. But that's the big knock on Middleton is its proximity to some of the larger cities. But you're, you know, We'll talk about this later in the video, but you're super close to grocery and hospital and things like that, so no need to worry. For example, you're 24 minutes to Eagle and you're also about 12 minutes to Caldwell. In fact, you can make an argument you're one minute to Caldwell because Caldwell and Milton do touch, but city center to city center, about 12 minutes. You know, city center to the freeway, you're probably eight minutes from Middleton over there to the freeway. Number six, the cost of living in Middleton, Idaho is a hundred. Do you know what that means? A hundred is on par with cost of living through the average in America. Now, if you take out housing, that's gonna drop below 100 because the score they gave housing was 114. What does that mean? That means if you're carrying over equity and moving to Middleton and the prices of houses are in your mortgage are lower than what it would be for the average person, then your cost of living is actually superb and Middleton would be a fantastic place for you to live. You know, there, when you look at a large acreage property, you're looking at wells and septics. When you look at a neighborhood property in Boise area, remember a lot of our neighborhoods include that wa those water rights to water your grass all year round. So that's taken care of. And that is a huge deal, especially coming from out of state when you have been paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars per month for that possibly. And you don't know if there's gonna even be water. We have, you know, last year we went through a drought and they said we weren't gonna have water. We watered all, you know, all six months of the year up here. So, and that wasn't in the middle of it, but that's just to prove a point for the whole Boise Valley. Number five, the shops, the restaurants, the shopping in Middleton, Idaho. Now, Middleton is not the mecca for the outdoor malls and all, you know, a gathering spot for that. It's, you do travel from Middleton to get to those places, namely about 20 minutes to go to the Costco exit in Nampa. There's a, you know, in town, there's small stuff like Jackson's, Ridley's Family Market. On the east side of Middleton, you'll find Albertsons. That new Albertsons is going in, it's awesome. You'll find the car wash. I think those are actually officially in Star, but they're so close to Middleton. And there's also an Ace Hardware there in Middleton as well. Middleton has enough that you don't have to leave the town every day, especially with Amazon, who doesn't love Amazon, love them, hate them, whatever you wanna do. They do help you get in a, out of a bind when you do live in, you know, maybe 20 minutes from the grocery store and that's too far for you. So to get to Albertsons Caldwell from city center Middleton to Albertsons Caldwell is 14 minutes to get to Albertsons in Star is about seven or eight minutes. So 
you are taken care of when you have that, but you don't necessarily need to go to Walmart. You do have Ridley's, like I already mentioned. Ridley's is your local grocer, so you'll be able to get all your grocery needs taken care of there. To give you an idea of the type of town, there is a tractor supply store in Middleton. That doesn't happen in downtown New York City as far as I'm concerned. Never seen it at least, it might be there. But trying to prove a point on Middleton and how rural it is, it is a small town. My, one of my favorite restaurants, in fact, probably my favorite place to get street tacos better than any street taco bus there is, in my opinion, is El Pollo Loco. That is located in Middleton. It's about a quarter of a mile from the only stoplight in Middleton south there of Ridley's El Pollo Loco. Grab yourself some tasty, tasty tacos. We are going to take a look at some of these places. Let's look, first of all, if we take that Ridley's in Middleton, Idaho, let's take a look at where that is. So it's right here at, the, at basically, like this Star Boulevard, which is State Highway 44 and Middleton Road, that's the main intersection of, of Middleton. That's the only stoplight in Middleton. Okay, and Ridley's is right there. It's at first and main. I mean, it's right there. If we look at Ace Hardware, Ace Hardware is connected to Ridley's. Another place we can look at is how far is Walmart from basically First and Main in Middleton. I call it First and Main, remember it's, it's 44 in Middleton or Main Street in Middleton. So we're gonna look at directions to Walmart in Caldwell. So kind of figure out how close that is and isn't. So on the boulevard, that is a 20 minute drive. Boy, I would even say, I would, I'm shocked actually, because this is all farmland, this is all farmland, and I would say it's more like 12 minutes. I would be shocked. I guess this is the part that's gonna get, oh, it's, oh there's, look at, there's traffic, there's construction. So there's probably more like 15 minutes coming here and coming across to stick. probably a 15 minute drive. We're gonna look at the tractor supply company store in Middleton, Idaho. That is located, remember that first in Maine is right here. This is where the high school is, it's right here. So it's still within Middleton there. That's another one we can talk about. We talk about Casa Mexico in Middleton, right there at first in Maine again. Which is funny because if you if, if you ever been to Middleton, it's like this is almost like fringe of Middleton. It's really kind of funny how it sits up. Most people think of Middleton like state and north, and but this is kind of like just a little bit. It's just less traffic. It's and it's a pretty small town as it is. So let's look at another one. Another place we could check out is Jackson's. Jackson's is a hot convenience store <laughs> in Middleton, and really it's in a lot of places. Boise. I'd say Jackson's and, and Maverick rule rule it all. Jackson's and Middleton is right here. Take a look right there. So from First and Main over to Jackson's. And one of my favorite spots in Middleton is at First and Main again. It's at State 44 Middleton Road. It's called El Senor Polo Mexican Grill. It's this one right here. Really, really good street tacos. It's If you can see where we're at in the map, it's right there at First and Main again. So, you know, there's some burger joints. There's some small little joints here and there. There's, there's not a lot of chains in Middleton, so it's still a small town. This road to here is really, really fast moving. Everything but eight in the morning and five at night. So to John over to Albertsons is actually really fast. It's a new Albertsons. It's a nice Albertsons. They're gonna build an epic car wash right here as well. There's a Dairy Queen over here in Star. So all these things to get from Middleton, depending on what part of Middleton you live at, over to Star is not hard. If you live over here, and well, this is Caldwell, but Middleton High. If you go into Caldwell, you have that hot skip, hop, skip, and jump. You don't wanna be hop, skipping, and jumping from West Middleton slash Caldwell all the way over to Star. So hopefully that helps. Next, let's dive into the hospitals. Where are they located? How far, you know, if you have a heart attack, are you 20 hours from a hospital? Are you 10 minutes? Are you five miles? Is it country roads? Is it traffic? Let's dive into that by taking a look at this map. There are no big hospitals in Middleton per se, but you're only a hop, skip, and jump from a few of them. So if we were to go to some of the major hospitals around, like just say St. Alphonsus and show all, let's just say St. Alphonsus, it's gonna zoom out and show everything. So, you know, this is a great way to do it. So to get into here, from here to here, 10 minutes, from here to here, 10 minutes, here to here, 15 minutes, 18, 20. The biggest St. Al's hospital is right here. From Middleton to here, probably 40 minutes. I would venture to say, in fact, let's just check it right here. We're gonna go from El Senor Pollo in Middleton. I'm gonna guess in 40 minutes. So 33 minutes from there to St. Al's. If you wanna go to St. Luke's downtown, from Saint, from El Pollo, um, that's, I'm choosing that because that's basically set, that's basically Maine in first, right, in Nampa, or excuse me, in Middleton. So we're gonna check out St. Al's from there. That is 41 minutes. So to go downtown there, 41 minutes, or you can take the back roads, 48 minutes to get on from State Street all the way down downtown. That's without taking a single turn, that street takes you all the way right there. If you wanna go to see all the St. Luke's in the valley, St. Luke's is more predominant in the Boise Valley. And so we were to take the whole valley and go St. Luke's. This is a from Middleton to here that's 20 minutes this St. Luke's sorry for that hover this St. Luke's 
this St. Luke's and this St. Luke's are the three big ones. These ones are just small little dot. Uh, this one's getting bigger. So you can see it's big there in that picture. But these are the, that's, see how big that is and then how big, oh, there's no picture. Thing. But that's, you can see how big those those hospitals are. St. Luke's is more predominant in the Boise Valley. That kind of gives you some times and you know, how close you are. If, if I, I don't know what, you, you know, I don't know what your insurance covers. St. Luke's to me is, gets the majority of the business. In fact, that's the only hospital I've ever been served at. Definitely know people, I mean, St. Al's has, I think St. Alice is known for their heart patient, their heart center. Um, I know like people have done cancer stuff there. I know pa people have done cancer stuff in St. Luke's. And so they're both reputable. I don't have anything negative to say about either one of them. I've heard positive reviews about both of them. You can keep that in mind when you're choosing your hospital and choosing your locations. I would definitely check out reviews online and see what, what jives with you and check out what they're rated for. Because I do know that St. Alice has some top hospital, you know, cares in, in, in their niches and so does St. Luke's. When we look at some of the local shops in Middleton, some of the places I, you might, you know, we just Googled and found are Terry uh, Riley Health. See how, it clo how close it is to downtown? That's the main intersection right there. The chiropractic, there's a chiro there's, there's so many chiropractors, right? A chiropractor we chose to was Harris Chiropractic and they were under construction. So Harris Chiropractic, they're right there again, right down that downtown area. But as you can see, Middleton isn't the center, center hub for any medical services. It's more of the being in proximity of 20 miles and the rural roads like all this green on the map is rural you can just basically go anywhere remember these are only four roads five roads that go across the boise river one two three four five from here on so you can't go across here you have you do have to go here but this is a very low traffic road because middleton is so small so you can get to any place within a hop skip and jump that wraps up the hospitals. Remember, there is a bonus for you at the end. We are gonna dive into that extra little bonus because this is the Middleton's top seven, but there is a sweet little bonus for you at the end, so stick around. Number three, we are gonna dive into the schools. Now, I'm not really allowed to say what I think of schools and good or bad or opinions. I'm gonna direct ourselves to some of the ratings that are already out there, and you can decide for yourself if you give those ratings any merit. We have Mill Creek Elementary, Middleton Heights Elementary. Those are the two elementaries. We have the middle school, which is right here. Middleton Middle School, there it is. In Middleton School, Middle School used to be the high school. There actually was a fire there about 15 years ago. And they switched over to Middleton High School. And Middleton High School is right there. So this is at Willis and is this Emmett? I think it's Emmett Road. Yep, Emmett Road. And so there's those. Those are the main schools in Middleton. Middleton Heights receives a B rating on Niche. Middleton Middle School receives a B. Middleton High is a B. And Mill, Mill Creek Elementary is a B plus. Forge International School is a public charter school. No rating yet on Niche.com. And nor is there a rating on GreatSchools.org. So. There are on niche.com, yes, that rate, their rating system's a B. So take that with your, uh, if, and if you want to do further research, there's more rating systems out there online and things. But my family have sent their kids to Middleton. I have a couple family members in Middleton and they love those schools. So take a look at those schools and if, you, if it fits you, then consider Middleton. Moving on to number two in Middleton, that's the recreation. There's a river running through Middleton, so there's fishing. There is floating the river on a low, low key scale. There's foot park. There's Middleton Place Park. Piccadilly Park, which is pretty cool. Centennial Grove Park, Hawthorne Park, Roadside Park, Middleton Skate Park, and other parks that you can see on the map. One of the cool things about Idaho in general is the BLM land, that's the Bureau of Land Management land open land that you can go there, you can use, people can often go to, you know, target shoot and things like that. It's a privilege that we have that in Idaho. I know like in Texas, for example, there's nowhere to do something like that. So it is, it kind of totes the whole conservative America thing a little bit more. Ton, a ton of BLM land north of Middleton. There's also Purple Sage Golf Course, which is located there on, in Caldwell, actually. I think it's officially Caldwell, but people think it's Middleton's golf course. So what is Middleton? Middleton, you can create your entertainment, or you might have to go just to hop, skip, and a jump on the outskirts of town. There's not really a uh, central meeting point for all the entertainment for people to be flocking towards Middleton, but that is good old small town America. Middleton is just that. To kind of give a, an idea of where things are at from Middleton for recreation, Google Maps says it's 30 minutes to Lake Lowell. I don't think it's that much. I think it's more like 20 minutes to Lake Lowell from Middleton. Black Canyon Reservoir is about 37 minutes. It's about an hour and 10 minutes to go from Middleton to Bogus Basin. Bogus Basin is obviously our ski ski resort. You can see Bogus Basin from anywhere in the Treasure Valley and it's a, it's the prize to view if you have that view in your in your home, in your home shopping. And if you need to go to the other end of town to go down the Boise River, looking at about 45 minutes to go from Middleton, 
to Barber Park to start your ride out. And remember, if you're gonna float down the Boise River, you start at Barber Park and end at Ann Morrison, which are both located in Boise. Number one reason you want to consider Middleton is for the open space and the lack of CCNRs and HOAs. Now, that is not every neighborhood, and not every CCNR that's ever been written or HOA that enforces them is terrible, but you can find more acreage properties out there in Middleton and it is a little bit more wide open, generally speaking, and it is a place that actually people are going to in the numbers. I actually just closed on a house for that same reason. It's about a little bit over an acre. Now, there are are loose CCNRs, there are chickens and horses and cows that are allowed and things like that, but it still, it paints the picture that's well-kept neighborhood with very few things that are restricted. So that's why people choose Milton. It is good old fashioned America. Have I said that yet before? And it's conservative and people love that small town. The housing is just the start. Now let's go into some of those figures of what type of housing and type of numbers we see at, in Middleton. The data I'm gonna extract from Middleton is from May 14th, 2022 to June 14th, 2022. The median home price in Middleton is 554,900. Median days on market is four. That's very, very consistent with all of Ada and Canyon County as a whole. The highest price sold in the last 30 days was 1.45 million and the lowest price is 175. I remember when 175 could get you in Middleton, a nice three bed, probably a four bed with an office, two story, three quarters of an acre house. It has come a long ways. Lots range from, you know, dinky all the way up to, you know, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 acres. The new homes in Middleton that have semi-decent sized acreages, like half acre or more, are going for 900,000 up to 1.5. That's kind of that sweet spot. There's, you know, nice, nice neighborhoods with, you know, white vinyl fences, white country style, the trendy white paint, you know, that, that those types of homes, those are going for that million to million and a half range. Now let's talk about the bonus to Middleton, Idaho. We are gonna talk about crime. Now why am I talking about crime as a realtor when I'm not supposed to be talking about crime? Because I'm just gonna deliver you the facts. This is not an opinion. There's nothing else but what has been recorded. We're gonna talk about violent crimes that give it on a scale and we have a 9.2 in Middleton. The US average is 22.7. Nine to 22, huge gap win for Middleton. Middleton property crime is 17.4. The national average is almost double at 35.4. So again, those are numbers, that's the facts. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't move there. I'm just delivering the facts. Why do we have these rules? No idea, but here's the crime rate for you. It's, it's, this, this is the bonus, don't read in the rules of why I can and can't say what I can. So if we were to give Middleton an overall rating, I would say we'd give it an A. In fact, that's what the uh, online says as well as it gives it an A. I'd say an A plus, it, it's, it's amazing. I don't know of too much crime that happens there. That's my opinion. I better put a disclaimer out there for that, but the stats were the stats and you can rely on those. I wanna know in the comments if you are considering moving to Middleton or if Middleton is battling with another city. If it's battling with another city, please put that city you're considering. Like, man, I wanna to move to Middleton, but I'm considering Star. I hear that a lot, Middleton or Star, or Middleton or Nampa, Middleton or Caldwell. Those are the things I wanna hear. I wanna know what you want to see. That'll help me know what video to film next for you is which city is competing with Middleton. Let's hear it. Again, my name is Brian Hymas. I've been a realtor in the Valley for the last five years. It is my dream come true to get those phone calls and texts and emails from you at the number or phone on your screen saying that you are looking to move to Boise if you need help. I would be flattered to be your man to help you with that. Uh, easy buying one, two, three process that will put you in your Conserva USA home in a super easy, simple process and I look forward to helping you there. Quick little plug, every third Tuesday at 7 p.m. Mountain, we are doing a live YouTube video for answering all your questions with you chatting in the questions and me giving you the answers. Usually it's a market or rates or how many properties are being sold, all that stuff. Also, if you're considering moving to Middleton, you might wanna check out the top places to move in Boise as Middleton hits that list. Check it out, we'll see you there.